था What's up YouTube, this is Chris within Model Be Trust 360 and today I'm going to show you guys how to get free gamer pictures for Xbox Live. Um, so this is a very easy tutorial and today I'm going to actually show you guys how to use a USB stick for all your modding because most people have upgraded to the Xbox with, that has no external hard drive and no longer can use their transfer cables. So once you're at the main screen, go all the way over to the right and go to System Settings. Go ahead and go down to Memory. Once in memory, go ahead and go down, and it should say USB device, but mine says memory unit because I actually have configured it before. So to be more accurate for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and remove my Xbox 360 storage. That way I can show you guys all the steps needed to actually configure your device, make sure it passes all the tests that Xbox actually uh, runs through it, and pretty much show you guys step by step how to do all this if you're new to USB modding or if you're new to modding in general at all. So once you do that, yeah, as you can see it says USB storage device. Go ahead and click on it. And you're going to go ahead and click configure now. What this is going to do, it's going to actually run some tests on your USB stick to make sure that it's up to par with Xbox standards. Um, if it's not, it will tell you so. But um, I would recommend having a 2 gigabyte flash drive or more. Um, most most of the time, those always pass the test, but if not, um, I would recommend getting a new one. Um, if you don't have another one laying around, um, by all means go buy one if you want to mod so bad. But we're going to wait for this to actually finish, and as soon as it's finished, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, what it says. So if it does complete it, it says your device is ready and meets the Xbox 360 performance recommendations. So if that comes up, just go ahead and click OK, and now you're ready to go ahead and start modding. So we're just going to go ahead and back out all of this, and we're going to go ahead and get our gamer pictures. So we're going to go into our hard drive um, portion. Um, on the black Xbox, it should have your internal hard drive already there. So we're just going to go ahead and go into our hard drive, go down to gamer pictures. This is where all your gamer pictures are stored. Go ahead and click on it, and find any gamer picture pack that you want. I'm going to go ahead and grab this Aegis's wing one, because it's at the top pretty handy to grab. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. Go ahead and click move, and we're going to choose our USB storage device, which we already configured. So go ahead and click it, and it's going to move it over to our USB storage device. So once it's over to our storage device, we're now ready to actually get onto the computer part of the tutorial. But first, before I actually get onto the uh, computer, I'm going to show you guys as it is on our USB stick. So what we're going to do now is just go ahead and take your USB device out, plug it into your computer, and we will now be ready to start with the computer part of this tutorial. What's up guys, welcome to the computer part of this tutorial. So if you've made it this far in the tutorial, you should already have gamer pictures already on your USB stick. So once you have all that done from the very first part of this, just go ahead and plug in your USB stick as I'm going to do now. Okay, now once it's plugged in, just go ahead and go to your computer. And as you can see, it's red. This means that it has been configured to our Xbox correctly. What this does is Xbox tried to actually encrypt all the files that are on this. That way they can be accessible through just the My Computer. So this is where USB XTAF comes in. Um, I should have an external link for USB XTAF, but if not, just go ahead and download my XB360 modder program. Um, as most of you may know, you are going to have to have an, an account on my website. So if you get to this screen and you don't have an account, go ahead and click create an account and go ahead and get started with that. Also, you're going to need Net Framework 4 to run this application. If you don't know what that is, go to Google, type in Net Framework 4 download, and you should have that and you'll be ready to go. So once you have an account, just go ahead and use your credentials and go ahead and sign into the application. As you can see at the bottom, it'll say connecting, and this actually connects to my server and actually sees if you have an actual account on my, uh, on my website. If you do, it'll say sign in as and I'll have your email address. So go and click OK. And now that we're in the main interface of my application, we're going to uh, navigate to Device Explorers. This is how you're going to explore your USB device. So go and click USB XTAF, and it's going to launch the USB XTAF application. So we'll wait for this to load. Once it's loaded, just go and click File, Open Device Selector. As you can see, it reads our USB memory stick. Go and click Open Drive, and if we go to Data Partition, content, the all zeros folder, the FFE071 folder, and this. This is where our gamer picks are located. So we're going to minimize that. Go over here to the miscellaneous tab, I believe. It might be profile tools, excuse me, yes, profile tools. Click on GPI 2.0. Click OK. 
we're going to have to open this manually. So just go ahead and open that and go ahead and close this out. So say we want the old Call of Duty 4 um, picture pack that we couldn't get. You can get that. But for this tutorial, I'm actually going to choose something different, something I don't have. So I'm just going to actually scroll through here and see something that I don't have. So I'm going to maybe grab, let's see. Uh, let's grab some Gears of War 2. So just click on Gears of War 2. Also, you can top this in. So if you start topping, you can actually click on it. So then click search. Um, as you can see, gamer pictures are starting to pop up. Now this is what we want. If you click start search and nothing comes up, more than likely there's no gamer pictures for that game added to the database yet. So once uh, these images start popping up, go and click stop search and choose the ones you want. So I'm going to use this one of Marcus. I'm just going to grab those right there. And you can also expand this out and see the gamer pictures that you've gotten. So once you have all the gamer pictures that you want, uh, you can add, also add multiple games in here. Just click export to con. Once you do that, what we're going to do, we're going to enter in six numbers. It can be anything. So I'll just enter six numbers, and that is one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to click any letter. Doesn't matter. We can do G, we can do E, and then another number. Go ahead and click save, and this is actually going to save all the images into one file and save it onto our desktop. So go ahead and close Gamer Pick Injector out, and we already have this file over here. These are the gamer pictures that we just grabbed. So just go ahead and open up USB X Taf. And since we navigated to our gamer pictures already, we're just going to click on this and drag this right into there. And this is going to put get this onto our thing. It should have gamer pictures, and it'll say the file name that we named it as. So we're going to close this out. We can close my application out. And now it's time to get back up on the Xbox and show you guys how to actually put those on your hard drive and use those. Okay, what's up, guys? Um, now that we have everything done on the computer, now we can... Um, actually do everything we need to our Xbox. So just go ahead and plug in your USB stick in and go back all the way over to the right and go ahead and go to system settings and then go to memory. And then once we're here, just go into memory unit, go to gamer pictures. And as you can see we have the gamer pictures we just grabbed and the gamer pictures we originally took off. So we're actually going to want to move both of these over. So just click on this, click move, and we're going to move this to our hard drive. So once that's moved over, go ahead and move the ones that we originally moved over and we'll move both of those to our hard drive. So if we click B, as you can see, there's nothing on our USB stick. So if we go back and just completely back out to the main screen, I'm going to go ahead and click the middle button. I'm going to show you guys that these are in our hard drive and we can actually use these. So just go over to Profile, go to Edit Profile, go to Gamer Picture, Change Gamer Picture, and wait for all these to load. Now, this can take a little while to load because I have a lot of gamer pictures, not because I've taken a lot, it's because I've actually purchased a lot of gamer pictures. So we're just going to wait for this to load. Usually, if you do this, the USB method, this will be located toward the bottom of your gamer pictures. So it will take a little while to load if you have a lot. If not, it should just take a few seconds and you can actually get down to using your gamer pictures. So I'm just going to wait, wait for all these to load. I'm going to kind of go down here gradually and hopefully by the time I get to the bottom they'll all be loaded so I can show you guys. So now that they're all loaded, I'm just going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom using my RT stick. That way we can gather, get through all these very quickly. So as we can see, we're at our bottom, and I don't see the gamer pictures, so we're actually going to have to search for these. So we're just going to go up through here and try to find the ones that we want, or the ones that we moved over, excuse me. So we're just going to go through here. This might take some time for me because I have a lot of gamer pictures, so just bear with me and hopefully we can get through this very quickly. Okay, guys, so as you can see, the ones we just grabbed, which was the one of Mark, the two of Marcus, actually, and the uh, Gears of War uh, logos are actually on our hard drive, and these are usable. So I'm going to show you. I'm just going to switch it over. Go ahead and click it. And as you can see, it does apply to our gamer tag. 
so you can actually use those as your gamer picture online. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it was more uh, not, like detailed enough for you guys to understand this. Uh, to all the people that have the slim consoles, this kind of shows you how you're going to have to mod your Xbox. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe this. Favorite it, and please subscribe to my channel. It would help me out a lot. I'm almost at 5K, and there will be a giveaway, so look out for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this again. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Chris. I'll talk to you later.